Oil. We're going to oil in a... Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine okay. minutes. So 1021 right now. We get inventory numbers for crude EIA 1030 every Wednesday. We got the crew contract up here. We're looking at the August contract. Um, quite a little pullback right at 9 o'clock. Not sure what happened, but 9 o'clock we saw um, we we're trading at 54.14. Trade down about 50, 60 cents, 53.50. We're sitting down there. You can see where we were, though, man. You say, you know, we talked about it quite a run yesterday, right? Yep. From 6 a.m., you're trading at 51.87, and we made it up to... 54 58 almost three dollars man to the upside so oil's had some volatility for a while uh let's jump in and see where we're at on some of these options so we get into commodities we'll go into crude and let's see where the 11 a.m's line up so the contract's trading 53.66 the quick bummer right away is i know these are going to line up on the quarter as in 50 cents 75 so we're not going to have uh, a price that's going to peg things even ideally uh 53.66 so 53.50 we could use for our 11 AMs, would have a 17 cent head start to the upside. Okay. Right? It's a little bit of a bearish, uh, excuse me, bullish trade. The bullish trade, the one with all the intrinsic value, which is 16 to 17 cents of that, uh, and $29 it's going to cost you on the bullish one alone. And then on the bearish one, it's going to be much cheaper because you're about 17 ticks out of the money. So you're looking at 13, you're looking at 42 bucks for the 11. A little bit more expensive than usual, yeah. but it's because you're you're so almost much 20, you're too. almost 20 cents away from, you know, your price exposure on the bullish and the bearish. Now let's just see if we can find one maybe with 53.75 because we'd be about six ticks away as opposed. Noon. Whoops, I'm clicking on the gold. We'll close that. The noon for crude. 53.50. Going to be an identical trade. Let's just jump to the dailies with one extra hour, of course. Okay, and we could have 54 if we wanted. That'd be a little bit different. If you wanted a little bit of bearish intrinsic value, you'd have about 30 cents there. And the same on the daily. So let's just set up the noons if, uh, to compare it to these 11s. 53.50, there's our 11 a.m. There's our noon. Now what's interesting here is, you know, let's just say you were looking for the trend to continue that we had yesterday in terms of that huge bullish run, right? Yeah. Not a bad trade when you look at just this bullish side now. You're getting into 53.82. Your loss is stopped at 53.50. For this risk reward, which is basically risking one to make four, risking 30 to make 120, yes. right? It's $150 in the total pie. You're risking 30 to make 120. And for that type of risk reward, you're paying 10 cents over market. Not right? bad. No, not bad no. at all. Not, right. not when you have oil coming in six minutes. Right. Now, you're paying that for the 11s. And if you want to look, what are, you, what are they going to charge you? They're going to charge you uh, 18 cents above market, where now instead of risking 30 to make 20, you're risking 40 to make 110, you're risking one to make a little bit less than three. Right. right? You're risking right. one to make 2.8. Right. Um, can we, I don't mean to just, you know, go ahead. I want to put a whisper number. Okay, perfect. So I want to put a build. Oh, of, no. Uh, put a build of like 250,000 uh, barrels, even though we, they're looking for a, a drawdown. All right, we got 15 seconds. 250? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. We're in there. And how about gas? Gas is gas looking a for build a, a million. rise. Yeah. With four seconds left, we get Perfect. our bid in. Good. Okay. And let's pull these over as we just to show what. Uh... So there's the gas build, the whispered number. They're looking for a build of somewhere between 800,000 and a million barrels for gas. Crude on the flip side. Um, that's the one looking for. Oh, okay, did that? I forget what. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pull that up. I think that was a decline. What did you that just? That was a decline. Yeah. I... Now the survey number and the whisper number differ. Okay. That's right. And okay. They, they take the survey number off. Uh, I think right as. Oh no! I... No, sorry. There's there it is. Crude. Yeah. That's, I was clicking on the right. Cushing. Okay. Um, yeah. So they're looking for a decline of between eight hundred thousand and one point two. Right. On... And last night the uh, API was a uh, drawer of six forty two. I think. Okay, six hundred forty two thousand barrels. Yeah. And let's just see what, uh, they do some good commentary analysis ahead of this, um, the what to watch for. I like it. All right. These crude builds are unrelenting. We've seen a pretty, pretty steady rise in crude inventory since March, surpassing the five-year average. No slowdown in sight. So we'll see if that rise continues. Gulf Coast refinery runs are still being held back by outages, mostly planned. Seasonally, rates are currently at the lowest levels in recent years, but still above the five-year average. Those refineries, man, they're a big story as we yeah, watch these are. every week. Yeah. Um, our refiners coming fashionably late to their own party. And uh, so Pad 5, West Coast Stockpiles, San Francisco, Carbob has reached positive to level differentials 
Man, this, this stuff gets a little technical. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Gasoline demand almost reached the 10 million barrels per day mark in the week ending June 7th, falling 123,000 short. So talking about demand there. All right, we'll see. They got a lot there. We'll find out in three minutes. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 36. NASDAQ is down 7. S&Ps are off 3.5. Tommy and I come right back. We get a monster out here. Gas prices going up at the moment. Holy bump, cow. Crude oil inventories falling 3 plus million barrels. 3.11. Gas inventories falling 1.69 million barrels. Checking over to the chart. And there's your pop, man. We, we didn't even take a peek. You know it's going up when the when the when it's that far off from consensus. Shouldn't say no, better or something. And we just got a 50, uh, 60 cent spike in the span of a heartbeat. And we're going higher, man. So what is the high that we had? Basically, you're looking at about 54, 57. We're going to be there in about three seconds, man. Um, quite a pop on that number that we just had. And I mean, the, the cool thing here is that these trades that we were taking a look at, they had that bullish head start. Right. And that's why, you know, it's nice that, and you know, right now the 11, man, you could close that out for, uh, and get 80 bucks off the top and you were putting up 30 bucks, right? right. So right. you had a 50, $50 profit, you're yeah. talking about 160% profit and you closed out in a split second. Um, just if you were going the bullish side alone, um, not bad. And it, like we said, not stopping, man. That is quite a run. Let's see if they break down. They still don't have the full breakdown. We'll check back. But, man, oil is going to rock and roll. Let's see that, uh, that did anything to the market in general. So you got... Uh, you know, let me pull up a different... No, it hasn't hit the S&P. That screen's a little funky. There we go. We'll pull up uh, the XLE. Let's see if that moved. I guess that might move a little. Yeah, <laughs> it should. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, you get, yep, 27 cents. And you had some juice yesterday, yeah. So we did uh, 17 million, took out the swing here of nine. Yeah, this thing wants to go up to his gap. So the, closing the gap is, what, 63.31. You're at 62.63. Take a look at Exxon. Nope, you had it first. Yep. yep. Yeah, up six cents. That's still weak. It's pretty amazing. Chevron, Chevron's strong. Chevron's definitely stronger. Yeah, one twenty-three forty-two. Well, there we go, man. Not stopping. Pretty remarkable. So this five-minute bar we're looking at fifty-three sixty-seven eighty-cent bar right now and climbing. And uh, like I said, we're now about ten pennies away from that high, and that's a decent high that we put in yesterday. Well, it better be able to right hit that it. high. So that'd be interesting here. Let's let's go take a look at that because when you get a build that that's big, you know. Now, well, oh, this yeah, is delayed. Oh, this, yeah. yeah. So let's see. Yesterday was 54.31. We're definitely over that, right? I think I believe. So the sweet spike high is 54.84. I just want to make sure we're looking at the same contract. We're not. Yeah. See, we're looking at August here, okay. and we get the June up here. Okay. This is just so. C L. U. No, that's September. Let's just try. Maybe if you just go active, it might get Yeah, the active is still, still the end, I think. Yeah. See well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We can pull it up. Yeah. The CL, I don't know what August is. Uh, well, September is not going to help. <laughs> that's all right. 5381. I just wanted to pull up. I think they will probably have that full breakdown of everything going on. Where's that? There it is. Okay, so we have the crude decline of 3.1 million barrels. Gasoline, quite a miss as well, a decline of 1.6. The estimate had been a rise of a million. Distillates, decline of 500. Rise of 800 was the expectation. Uh, check out the Pad 3 crude, man. Wow. Minus 5.8. I think it might have been last week where the the entire value of everything was kind of a pad three builder or draw, I forget. Um, refinery utilization up 0.7. The estimate was 0.3, so maybe coming back online a little more than uh, they'd expected. And then they have crude inputs up 200,000 barrels a day. Crude imports down 444,000 barrels a day, and production down 100,000 as well. Boy, these are monster numbers when you start talking about in a day, right? You're up 100,000 yeah. a day, you're down 100,000 a day. When you think about the amount of cars on the road, man, you know, as in you drive to work, 
every single car is oh, yeah. plowing through gas. Right. And it's just staggering right. the amount of oil we use. Oh, it, it is. It, it, it is. You know, I remember when they were putting like a 7-Eleven on every single corner and then, you know, it turns from gas stations to, you know, stations you can buy everything at. Yeah. And that, that just hasn't stopped. Nope. You know, no, I mean, no. that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, Tesla's, Tesla's doing their best to stop it, but not, not yet. And as you said, so we made it to 5450. But that high was 54.57, 54.56. Let's see where it is. 54.58. It looks like was yeah. the actual high. So we'll we'll see. This might not be done climbing higher though. No, exactly. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Dow's up 48. Nasdaq down six. S and P's up four. Market's uh, just laying there, man. It sure is. Speaking of just laying there, checking back on oil. Just kind of laying up there, right to where we shot up in that first five-minute bar. Hanging at 53, excuse me, 54, 37. Um, and again, we shot up from about 53, 67. So you're talking about 70 cents. Um, yeah. It shot up. And I don't think it's made it to that spike high from it last has week. Not. Huh? The, the, right. Well, I even, it hasn't made it from the spike high just as in uh, last night, even oh. from what we were, uh, that's the one we kept looking at. Um, 54, 58. As of about 8 p.m. last night, it got up to. And that's after that huge run yesterday. So it, uh, it was within about eight pennies, but not quite yet, and we'll see what happens.